Outside the city clerk's office hangs a list of names of signatures removed from the recall petitions. For reasons ranging from being on the petition twice, not being able to read the signature, and not being registered to vote in that district. Also included are names of about 50 people who asked to have their name withdrawn, alleging that the petitioners used misleading tactics to get them to sign. City Clerk Esther Martinez Carrillo says this wasn't a large number. I received several calls, uh, not too many, uh, maybe a handful of them, and I did have a, a gentleman who came in the very first time and he mentioned what he had encountered. And then I had several, two women who wrote a letter in and it was mailed to me, so I have that. And then I also had several other letters that came in later in asking for their name to be withdrawn from the petition that they had previously signed. She says the petitioners have 15 days from when they receive notice of the insufficient petitions to file a notice of intention to amend the petition. Should they decide to amend, then the day that I receive that notice of intention to amend, I would issue them a supplementary petition. And then they would have 15 days from that date to gather additional signatures, and they have to turn it into me. The group New Mexicans for a Better Tomorrow released an online statement with their intention to continue the petition. Quote, now is not the time to give up. We press on, and that's exactly what we are going to do. Our staff and volunteers are coming together to plan the next step forward. We plan to go out and collect more signatures as the city charter allows us to do. To those who have been questioning whether to sign the petition or get involved, now is the time. Martinez Carrillo says she hasn't received notice of intention to amend yet, but one of the petitioners told her he planned to by phone. One of the gentlemen that I spoke to, he did um, verbally tell me that he did intend to amend his petition, uh, but I mentioned, I uh, reminded him that I, I needed something from him in writing. So he mentioned that he would submit something to me sometime this week. Petitioners were about 300 short in Olga Pedroza's district and about 100 short in Gil Sorg's and Nathan Small's. Councilor Small said he plans to keep focusing on what is being done in the city and what needs to be done. Right from the get-go, my focus is on doing the work I was elected to do. I think we can point to results, again, creating new jobs, helping create new neighborhood organizations, making our city safer, helping our infrastructure. Um, I'm confident that that's what folks want to see. That's what our community needs. If you want to check if your signature was removed from the list, they will remain posted at City Hall. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.